Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, bringing you another video regarding the Okidata White Toner Printers. In this video, we're going to cover the driver settings for the smaller unit, which is the Oki C711WT. So let's go ahead and move to my computer so that we can cover the driver settings that you need to employ in order to successfully run t-shirt transfer paper through the new Oki White Toner Printer, the C711WT. On my screen, I have the driver for the Oki C711WT postscript version of the driver. You will notice that we have four tabs that we have to negotiate. The first tab being layout, the second tab being paper quality, the third tab being job options, and the fourth tab being color. So let's go ahead and cover these four tabs in the adjustments that you may have to make. On the layout tab, the only real adjustment you may have to make is the orientation of your graphic on the paper, whether that's portrait or landscape. Once you've made that adjustment, move to the second tab, which is paper quality. What we need to note here is under tray selection, paper source, the driver is going to default to automatically select. What this means is it's going to look in the cassette tray first. But we got to remember, we want to run t-shirt transfer paper through the multi-purpose tray. So let's click on our pull-down menu and let's make sure to select multi-purpose tray. It's very important. Now that we've made that change, we want to click on this advanced button to enter the postscript settings of the driver. Under paper size, it should always be letter. Since this is an Oki C711WT, it only handles letter and legal size paper. Since transfer paper is not made in a legal size, we just want to make sure that our paper size is set to letter. The next adjustment we need to make is the ICM method, or image color management. The default setting is ICM disabled, but what we want to do is change this setting by clicking on the pull down menu. We want to select ICM handled by printer. The reason is, is that most graphic software applications like Corel or Adobe assume that you are printing to a standard four color process printer. But we got to remember the Oki C711WT is not a standard four color process. It has a white toner cartridge instead of a black. So we want to make sure that the printer itself handles the color management. The next adjustment we may have to make is ICM intent. If we click on the pull down menu, the two options we need to concern ourselves with is graphics, whether you're doing a line art, clip art, or vector art design, or picture if you're doing a photographic reproduction. Now, let's move down the page to media check. What media check means is that the multipurpose tray is designed to handle certain weights of papers. If we exceed that weight, we might get a type mismatch error on the printer. The only way to clear that error message is to press the online button to get the job to feed through. However, if you turn your media check off, you can avoid that type mismatch error. The next thing we want to adjust, and this is probably the most important adjustment, is the media type. You'll notice here the default is use printer setting, which basically means that you are feeding a plain paper through the machine. What we got to remember is transfer paper is much heavier than plain paper, so we need to make an adjustment here so that the printer can compensate for the thicker transfer paper we're going to feed and properly bond the toner to the page. Let's go over some of these settings. The first setting you'd want to look at is Ultra Heavy 1, which will handle a 121 to 188 grams per square meter media weight. The transfer papers you would want to run in this mode would be Nina Technoprint EZP, Nina Image Clip Laser Dark, or Nina Image Clip Concert T. Run those three papers in Ultra Heavy 1. The next media type we want to look at is Ultra Heavy 3. Ultra Heavy 3 will handle a 221 to 250 grams per square meter media type. The paper we want to use this setting on will be the Nina Image Clip Laser Light, which weighs 244 grams per square meter. 
So remember, if you're going to run NINA Image Clip Laser Light, set your media type to Ultra Heavy 3. The last setting we want to look at is the film setting. The new self-weeding papers we have for the white toner printers, the Condi Low Temperature Laser Dark WTP and the Condi Laser Imprints Trim Free Dark both use a transparency film instead of a paper which feeds through the printer. So remember, for low temperature laser dark no cut or the laser imprints trim free dark, you're going to have to set the media type to film. That is a very important setting to remember. The last adjustment we want to make on this screen is tray switch. What tray switch means is if the multipurpose tray runs out of paper, it's going to look to the cassette tray to finish the job. We want to disable that feature by turning the tray switch off. Once we have made these adjustments, let's click OK to save the adjustments and let's move to our next tab which is Job Options. On the Job Options tab you will notice the default for quality is a high quality setting. What we have to understand is under this setting the printer may use too much toner for the transfer paper to capture and handle. So we want to reduce these settings. Simply put, if you are running a solid film transfer paper like Nina Technoprint EZP or Condi LaserFlex CL, you want to set the quality under normal, which is 600 by 600 DPI. If you are running a self-weeding paper like the Nina Image Clip Laser Dark, the Nina Image Clip Concert T, or our new low temperature laser dark WTP, set your setting at fine detail, which is 600 by 1200 DPI. Another feature in the driver that I want to point out is the mirror print. The driver will automatically mirror or reverse any graphic that you send if this feature is enabled. So I'll leave it up to you whether you want to mirror or reverse the graphic through the driver or in your graphic software. Just be aware that the driver does have this feature. Once these changes are made, let's go to the last tab, which is the color tab. You always want to leave this in color print. If there's any adjustment you would want to make, it's under print mode. You will notice the default is the white on, meaning that white toner will be laid down when this feature is enabled. This is necessary if you're using a self-weeding transfer paper for a dark t-shirt. But if you're using a solid film or a self-weeding paper designed for a light shirt and you do not need the white toner, you can turn the white toner off. Once you've made your necessary changes, click Apply and then click OK to save those settings. Now, let's briefly summarize what we've learned in this video. If you follow the driver settings that we have suggested in this video, you should be able to run transfer paper through your Okidata C711WT successfully and keep your unit clean. What you need to remember is you always want to run t-shirt transfer paper through the multi-purpose tray. When it comes to the image color management, you want to make sure that that is handled by the printer and also remember to change your media type to the proper selection based on the transfer paper you're running through the machine. That is the most important setting that you can employ. It's going to make sure that your machine stays clean and operates the way it should. Now should you have any questions regarding the settings that we just covered, do not hesitate to contact our technical support department directly at 1-800-826-6332 or you can contact me direct. My extension is 204. And also make sure to tune in to Condi TV for future videos regarding the Oki White Toner printers. Until then, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, and I thank you for yours.